Hey YouTube, how you guys doing? And welcome back to the 43rd Let's Play of F1 2021, my team. It's the penultimate race of the season. Uh, we're 26 points behind Wallace. It's getting down to the wire. We we still have to outperform him this weekend to get into a chance of winning the title in Abu Dhabi. Jeddah is one of those tracks which has been dominant for Mercedes, but our pace has been pretty decent in Jeddah, not gonna lie. Overall, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling positive about the weekend. The track is a bit tricky. It's a it's an aggressive one where accidents can happen. So that's a fact. I need to be safe. I can't take too many risks. Because at this point, I've got everything to lose. While Bodas has nothing to lose. I mean, I've got nothing to lose also as well. You you guys get the you guys get the point. Okay. Basically, it's very close, and we we just have to do well. Simple as that. Let's head into quali. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, guys. Here we go. Uh, I'm gonna first the first lap in Q1 in Jeddah. I mean, Jeddah is that lap, that track. We gotta be locked in completely. It's so. So um scary to be honest there's no runoffs at all. So here we go for the first lap of Q1. More of a formality, pace wise we should be making Q2. I'm not worried about that but Yuki's running a lap. Wow, Yuki's running a lap. Yuki has to let me go. For that, Yuki. I was like, wait a minute. Is my team gonna block me off? Open sector one, so decent. I touched the wall there, but that was close. I just want to get this lap done and go into Q2 and think what tire strat I want there. Take a bit of curve. Nothing wrong with that. Looks decent. Nothing. Looks doesn't look crazy, time wise to me, but. Be that corner, Max is having to remember that. <laughs> You've gone full. You've just seconds. put in the fastest lap. Good job. That's a that's a good enough lap for Q2 for sure. Let's see. What our time is gonna be is pretty much. I think we're good enough for uh, Q2. We're gonna be through there. So yeah, I think we're through for sure. And yeah. Yuki's through as well, but pace I see is a bit off. That's gonna be our second lap. Uh, session update. P6. We have P6. Session update. Session update. Quick position rundown for you. The current top five are Ricardo, Norris, Vettel, Gasly, and Perez. There we go. First lap of Q2. We're gonna go with Sauce. I think Sauce is the way to go. Oh, I don't think Deg is horrible. Definitely not. Oh, that was very close. Too close for comfort. See, that's what you got. How you got to drive in Jeddah? Uh, through the line. Very aggressive. And almost uh, like you gotta have balls, guys. That's all you need on this track. You just can't be scared, and you gotta push to the limit, the very limit. Touch the wall there. That's not gonna be great.
Looks a decent lap to me, nothing crazy. To the line now. See what we can get. P61. That's even better. So yeah, that was pretty good. I think we should be good. Works are struggling or what, guys? Works are down in the bottom. They're gonna, they're gonna get better times. There's no way they don't. They have to improve. Yeah, we'll actually go second. Okay, makes sense. A second? What? Yuki's out again, man. Come on, man. My lap that good? What the heck? Okay, guys, it's almost night time in Saudi. At Jeddah. It's Q3, it's the top 10 shootout now. That's what it's gonna be. It's gonna be really interesting how we manage this. Here we go. We go for first lap. It's gonna be interesting. I'm gonna try to push it. Taking a bit wider than usual, but still think it looks decent. Trusting the car a bit more now. Or I, even if I don't trust it, I have to push it more. Because I just have to. For the sector one, that was pretty decent. I don't think I fully trust the brakes right now. The brake bar is a bit iffy for. That's the part where I'm interested. I'm not gonna run 50% for the race, I think. Definitely not. It's much faster, but it's a bit risky. Feels like the car is just gonna slip off, to be honest. We're going for it. This is looking good. Not gonna lie, guys. Oh, good traction out of that corner as well. Twenty-five seven. That's the fastest lap so far. Well done. Twenty-five seven. Excuse me. That's mental. Guys, that's gonna be good enough to be honest. I think that's gonna be good enough. Get us pole. Twenty-five seven. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's a With crazy lap. Time. finished. It's time to remind ourselves of our top three. The Golden Boy, People. Hamilton, okay. and Pierre Gasly. Pierre? Wow, he's complete, been doing well. You know what? I might take Pierre for next season. We'll be live and uninterrupted for the Grand Prix tomorrow, so make he's sure you join well. us then. Pierre Gasly. So here we are then, welcoming you today to one of the jewels of the Arab world, Jeddah. One of the biggest cities in Saudi Arabia, second only to Riyadh, gateway to Mecca and one of the biggest ports in the region. And now, host to the Saudi Arabia Grand Prix. An interesting circuit this one, the newest on the Formula One calendar. And like most street circuits, it's sure to present the drivers with an interesting technical challenge. Some challenging turns for the drivers to negotiate as well. And at the same time, they're going to have to manage their tyres very carefully in this heat. Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box. And it's fantastic to have you with us here today. But I'm curious, as a man with experience out on the track, how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? But from the moment qualifying's over, you start to feel the adrenaline in your body build up and the buzz in your stomach as you anticipate the rundown into turn one. It's all a bit like going into battle. And the unknown situation makes you nervous. Those pre-race nerves are a good thing. The day you don't have them means that you don't care anymore. 
And of course, you have to make sure that all the procedures are second nature to you so that they're not taking up too much of your capacity. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. The Golden Boy lines up on pole position and it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Perez, Verstappen, Pierre Gasly. They've taken a grid penalty and Leclerc, Sonoda, Russell, Sainz. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty and Valtteri Bottas, Stroll, Latifi, Lando Norris, they've taken a grid penalty, and Tictum. Vettel, Nissani, Esteban Ocon, and Daniel Ricciardo. Schwartzman, Giovinazzi, Mick Schumacher, and Nikita Mazepin. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? Okay, guys. Uh, we're gonna be doing a one stop fast to mediums. I think that's the best strategy here in Jeddah. Personally, I believe that's the best strategy. It's gonna be lights out at Saudi Arabia. It's gonna be the Jeddah Grand Prix. It's five red lights. And away we go. A decent launch by me, but oh, got a lot of beat spin. David Hamilton. Oh, bit of contact. I don't think that was major. Vehicle condition? No need to worry about tire condition for now. Everything's looking good. The vehicle condition is looking pretty good, so nothing to be worrying about that massively. Obviously, guys, Jedi, you know, is a very scary rat. I think Hamilton might have damage. Driver behind. Driver behind. Hamilton is behind you. The gap behind us is 1.1 seconds. Uh, it's gonna be lights out. And let's see how our launch was. A pretty slow launch by us there. We're struggling, but Lewis Hamilton definitely had a better launch than us. We, he's ahead in the corner, but we just dive bomb it. Just we just sent we just sent it to be honest. We just sent it. No regard for anything there. Absolute disregard of anything and we just sent it there. Wow. We like Max was happening. Yeah, that turn one incident was a bit sketchy movie. I did shoot it. I did Max was in it though. Yeah, I'm feeling the nerves. At the moment Boras has been through oh, wait, Boras is standing down the grid. Boras is somewhere else on the planet. At the moment Boras is down behind a Ferrari. He's like B7. Oh my god, that Mercedes has caught up, guys. What the heck? Hey, yo. Don't tell me it's gonna be Lewis Hamilton versus me again in Jeddah, like last season. That, guys, that battle was insane, though. Last year between me and Lewis, that was insane. That Merc straight line speed is mad. I need to get out of the RS range. I don't want to. I don't want to have a battle. The only reason I had a battle with Lewis Hamilton last season because my car wasn't fast enough. I don't want to fight him again. Hey, hey uh, I kind of exceeded track limits there, so that's not great. I'm trying to get another fastest lap here. That would be the ideal situation. Also getting out of the other range, but how much Hamilton caught me in the straights is a bit worrying to me, guys. It's quite worrying, in fact, because that means the straight line speed is superior of that Mercedes engine, because it is a better engine. Reliability-wise, our engine has been also pretty bad, so <laughs> might be switching Honda, something else. Okay, guys, Yuki and Valtteri fighting into turn one. Oh my god, it's side to side, but Valtteri goes round the outside on both cars. What an exit by him. Oh my god, that Mercedes, man. Wow. Get another engine for the next season. It's just not the greatest. I think the Mercedes engine is superior. The Honda engine, reliability-wise. Obviously, if you're talking about current situations, the new F1 game is coming out in May, uh, this year's 
version, which is going to be interesting. That was the fastest lap of the race. Keep this up. The RS has been disabled. Oh my face. Okay, here we go. We have to push now. We gained a lot of time there. Here we go. This is the plan we focus. Try to get him out of the RS range, not let him catch up. I don't think he has, he's falling behind, he's lagging behind immensely. He's going even a faster lap at the moment, wow. We keep turning up. Here goes Valtteri with DRS open on Charles Leclerc. Will he be able to make the move there? No, unfortunately not, but he's very close now. In the next DRS only he must be able to get in. But DRS open here, it's going to be DRS train though. With Mercedes power will be greater than Ferrari power. No. Here we go. He's gonna have DRS once again. But Charles Leclerc also has DRS. Let's see if we'll be able to overtake him. Yes, he can. Yes, he can. Wow. Wow. Gutsy. Gutsy there by Boras. They're still scrapping it out, guys. They're still scrapping it out. Wow. That's some gutsy driving. There by Boras. He's still on Leclerc. He's still fighting him. With another DRS only, he might be able to get him here. But he's also getting DRS from Pierre Gasly, Charles, so... Nope, not yet. He's going for it. This time he's going for it, guys. He's absolutely sending it. Oh my god, oh my god, it's wheel to wheel. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. He's going for it this time, guys. He's actually sending it. I think he's ahead this time. Oh, no. There's still wheel to wheel. Oh, nobody's giving up. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, Boras is pushing him off the track. Oh, my God. This is very intense racing happening here. In the back with Leclerc and Boras for P3. And he's up to P3 now. We're driving by Boras. Push They're now. Pushing. We're boxing, boxing this lap. Box. Hamilton has spirit. He's going for that undercut. Gotta put a real good... Lap in here. Get that. Oh, see. Hamilton is going onto that hard tire. That's. That's honestly weird. I've not seen that happen before in Jeddah. To extending this, this soft tire till 10 laps, I don't see the point of hard. Even Bodas hasn't fit it yet. It's a fast pit lane as well guys, so that's one thing to look into. Go, go, go! Decent pit stop. Up to speed now. Let's get some heat into those tyres. How close am I to Hamilton? 3.4 seconds, we're chilling. Yuki's still on the softs? Yuki hasn't pitted, Yuki still hasn't pitted, that's, he's going long, he's probably going that 12 lap period that was to, uh, uh, told, mm, was advised to me to do, but I disagree because the tires are dying, they're definitely on the last ropes, Yuki's up there now, and there we go, Boras is pitting now, going on to mediums, unlike Hamilton, he did go for the soft tire. Here, uh, Yuki is pitting now, guys. Yuki is finally pitting after 12 laps on the soft, so it's a more of an overcut strategy going by him. Let's see what he's able to do. Decent pit stop there. Some oh my god, the what the they heck? Are out of the race. Mikey, please no safety car. Mikey, please no safety car. Guys, why is this becoming Abu Dhabi? What the heck's happening?
No, no, that's not cool. Mikey, please, no safety car. Mikey, 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 please, no safety car. Mikey. Caution, caution. Oh, he's really stopped there. Wow. So I think, he, yeah, he can be removed easily. There's no need, but safety car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dumbass. Okay, clear. Thank God, I did. I do not need a safety car. I just don't need anything to happen. Let me drive, honestly. Just let me drive. Guys, Valtteri is catching these red bulls now. Both of them. Oh, here we go. He's on to Max now. Are you able to catch Max here with another DR straight coming up here? That we will do see now. The Mercedes is definitely faster than the Red Bull, that's for sure. Not at the moment with the DR strain happening. With another straight, let's see if we're able to get him. Not yet, not yet. Oh, he's going for it. Boras is going for this lap. Oh, he's ahead. He's already ahead. Wow. He's, coming, he's closing in on Checo now, guys. He's closed in on Checo. Oh my god, he's so close then on Checo. They're fighting into turn one. Boras is sending it. Oh my god. Feel to view. Wow, that was intense. That was really intense. That was very intense racing there. Will able to get him onto the other straight? The other zone coming up. Oh yeah, Checo, Checo's gobbled up by Valtteri. What a drive by him. P10 to P3. Honestly, I'm scared. I've not seen Boras take grip penalties yet. I think he might have taken it today. He's gonna take P2 with DRS. Jesus. The last lap as well. We've only got two laps of fuel left. Yeah, yeah, I know. Damn. Guys, gonna be the final lap now. Uh, the only disappointing thing of the race and the weekend overall is that Boras has made a resurgence. He's come back up the path through the field. This is your final lap. Final lap he of could the race. take P2, to be honest with Lewis, so that's gonna be very interesting if he's able to do that. Because that would not be good. I hope Lewis is able to defend him. I would not think so. I would think he would let him go. I hope Lewis fights it off. But he's on the harder compound as well. So it's going to be tough for him. I have that pace. To put keep actually behind him. Okay, we're gonna be winning the Grand Prix, guys. But what a what a drive from Bottas, to be honest. That's scary. That means he is that good with pace. If he starts up top, oh god, it could be earnings for us. 
in Abu Dhabi. But at the moment, we have won the Jeddah Grand Prix. We're going to be focusing on that, on this race at the moment. It's living the present. I'm going to be the winner as Saudi Arabia yet again. Let's go. Back to back. Thanks to all the boys. That's three wins in a row. Unbelievable work. Oh, oh, my controller's broken. Three dubs. Then Ricardo, driver of the day. A sterling effort from the team and a magnificent drive to secure victory here at the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. Tell me, Ant, how did they manage to achieve this win? Well, I honestly feel it was down to the driver and car today. I mean, we can talk driver skill all day, but if you don't have a solid team to back that, you're never going to get anywhere. Fast, when you hit that wonderful. sweet spot of having both an excellent driver and an incredible car, that's car when you great. see results like those we witnessed today. Car was great. Car was wonderful. Top class. Absolutely. Well, I'm thoroughly Beauty. exhausted after the excitement of that race, but I'm sure it's nothing compared to our drivers here. They've worked hard to make it up there. What a win. It's great to see them. Make the margins we're putting on the, the Mercedes podium. right now is very positive. But Abu Dhabi, we haven't been quick on that track ever. So that's going to be interesting where, where our pace could be on that weekend. But right now we've won the Jetta Grand Prix. How many points are we behind now? The deficit must be closer. It has to be in less than 20, I think. Not the result our points leader wanted, but it certainly makes things interesting going forward. So, Anthony Davidson, who would you rank as your driver of the day? Well, Crofty, Daniel Ricciardo would have to be my driver of wow. the day. Wow. It's less about what he did right, but how little he did wrong. Perfect driving. It's another clear Jeez. win for Mercedes as they managed to secure the Constructors title. An incredible performance for the whole team. Meanwhile, good work from Aston Martin this weekend, who pushed themselves further yeah, up up the order. I'm equal We're up on McLaren now. and elated with this weekend of Formula the constructors. One. Be sure to w. join us for the next one. So We're 15 points behind, guys, now on the Drivers' Championship. So basically, we need to, at Abu Dhabi, have a difference of 15 points. With Boras. Okay, guys, uh, we're going to end the Let's Play here. It's going to be the finale next Let's Play in Abu Dhabi. We are 15 points behind. So basically, Bottas has to finish third or lower. Lower than third to, for us to win. Oh, that would be tough. That would be tough. It'll be tough for us to win this championship, guys. Not gonna lie. So yeah guys, I'm gonna see you in the next one. It's gonna be the finale. It's gonna be interesting. Yeah guys, see you in the next one. Peace.